redneck pool heater sorry about the dog so redneck pool heater you got one of these pools and you gotta figure out how to heat it up so you can use it as much as you can to make your money's worth right it's a good idea well here's my setup good times on the TV pool heater 2.0 which is what I'm gonna label this video let me show you a 2.1 version look like 2.1 version look like this a burn barrel with a small chimney inside it there was layers of coil of pipe you'd build a fire where the leaves are and then you would have a hose running on the inside and the outside back to the pool pump <clears throat> and it would slowly heat your pool it worked it was efficient well not efficient it worked it was effective that was my outlet on my pool pump so that I could force water through that and then I just you know put another hose inside the pool and it worked anyway we've evolved and that's fun so <clears throat> what we've got today is the pool heater 2.0 yes that is a 40 gallon residential pool heater I'm sorry residential hot water heater for a house that I have repurposed and put it as a pool heater how did I do it pretty simple <clears throat> on top we've got your hot and your cold inputs all I did was do uh, six inch uh, galvanized nipples off of those to uh, hose uh, three-quarter hose bib fittings both sides <clears throat> the face of this guy now where I currently have my shutoff would be the control valve gas valve for your traditional water heater um, wait nope I take that back I'm sorry this guy was the traditional uh, gas valve for this originally natural gas water heater but I have completely stripped it of all of that and I've done this so what I did do uh, there we go. I put a giant I cut away a lot of metal underneath here and I put a giant propane um, I forgot what they call these things um, crawfish boil burner uh, style deals heaters whatever anyway it's a big ass burner is what I'm saying now you can put anything you want under here but this one was the most effective for my um, application I did make shift a spark igniter that I had to kind of engineer and make work let me click it see if you can see the flash yep oh here we go yep you can see the flash that works great um so it works it works very well in fact i can start this thing with no water flowing through it run it for less than a half hour and the tank is up to over 100 degrees starting temperature is probably I don't know 70 something maybe even 80 it works very well now even if I wanted to which I have I've just turned the burner on open the valve and just let it roll and then after about an hour or hour and a half or so I'm getting 120 degree water out of the outtake which is that white piece of PVC right there off of this green hose everything runs off the propane simple as that I've got a 20 psi adjustable valve the idea is to get the best flame you can get without seeing red tips you gotta see all blue tips just before they turn red 
at as high of a gas volume as you can get and that's going to give you your maximum gas uh, I'm sorry heat transfer uh, that you can get on this this particular unit I don't know what info you guys are going to want honestly it's just your basic 40 gallon water heater this was originally natural gas I just cut a bunch of shit away from the bottom so inlet comes from this basic um, manifold I guess I'll call it from the pump so the pump pumps into the tower the tower pumps into the chlorinator the chlorinator pumps into my new manifold my manifold is inch and a half inch and a half inch and a half reduced this side goes to an inlet into the pool that I utilize for the um, Intex vacuum system so I have to keep it original inch and a half stuff um, but more importantly for this pool heater stuff this is what I did is I did a inch and a half glue in to inch and a half thread inch and a half thread to three quarter thread fitting this is a three quarter inch MIP on this side to of course hose valve now it's very important to understand this part right here this right here this is a uh, if you want to call it a gender changer gender bender whatever you want to call it uh, this is a female female which is what allows me to do what I'm doing with the ins and outs on the hot water heater so pay attention to that part right there real simple you can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's uh, just for reference the other part of the whole manifold system is this this is a one and a half inch feed which I did cut away the original um, other port to this pool and all I did was make it from inch and a quarter to inch and a half and I put in an eyeball um, uh, blowhole I guess you'll call it or whatever you want to call it one of those guys and that works well that way it allows the water to circulate through and then get back to my cut in skimmer box which is currently trying to eat that noodle <clears throat> This noodle does not normally stay in the pool. Anyway, that helps skim the top, which is tremendously helpful too. And um, that's how we do that. But that's a different uh, video. For the, who, for the pool heater, here we are. That is the basics of it. I can raise the temp in this pool, which is a... 16 by 10 uh, by 48 Coleman pool. I can raise the temperature in this thing. Let's see here. I went from 78 one day to 80 to 88 one day uh, using this apparatus, and it took me about five hours full blast you know well I mean I say full blast but full blast is in reasonable crank on that 20 20 psi you know lever to make sure that you get all blue as as best you can you're gonna have to dial this thing in for whatever altitude you're in you got to dial that in you got to figure out what works right for you guys um, but here in st. Louis there you go so I got it set to. It works. Um, too much gas, you know, like I said, you're going to 
you're going to pull the flames away from the uh, the burner itself and that's not going to be very efficient you want to make sure the, the blue flame comes right off of the holes of the burner let's see here if I can start this up for you guys all right I'm gonna prime it that's it I'm gonna set the phone down I'm sorry I gotta I gotta fire this thing up I don't know if I'll be able to watch y'all be able to watch me do it Perfect. All right, we're burning. All right, so mosquitoes are nuts right now. All right, barely the red tips on the tips of the main blue flames. Don't worry about them tall reds. You gotta worry about them short reds. If I crank it up too much, that's too much got to get it and that's too little I mean you can burn it that way don't get me wrong but you're not going to get very fast you're not going to get very far very fast so you want to go up just to where you see the blue I'm sorry the red tips and you're good I bought this uh, burner on uh, Amazon I believe I think it was for like the Big Bayou uh, crawfish ball or you know, Big Bayou burner or whatever. This thing's like 13 inches diameter on this burner. It's a big one. I had to cut a lot of way out of this to make it work. Anyway, that's how you do it. And so what I would do is I would fire that thing up. And then I'd come over to my burner, I'm sorry, my valve. Open it up. So now, that is flowing water through that hose. Whirl, 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 up into the cold side, which forces water out of the hot side. Comes back through the hoses. Back through that little blah blah blah, up through here, and then I made a, a very simple little J neck with uh, some PVZP, which all this was was a three quarter MIP. This is a brass fitting three quarter MIP to three quarter hose bib, which is how I plugged that in that. So that's it, that dumps it out right there. So that water right there, after you run this for enough time, gets over to about 120 degrees. It works very well. Now, as you can see, I've got it dumping right in front of the eyeball inlet from the pump also, which helps distribute that nice hot water, you know, real quick through the whole pool. So. Let's say you come out, your pool's 80 degrees. You're like, well, that's too cold to swim. You want to warm it up. Fire this thing up. Go ahead and open that port right away. This thing's cooking as high as it can, can go without turning red. Come back and check on it in two hours. You're going to have well over 100 degrees coming out of that white, you know, J-neck pipe that I put on my pool and your dummy thermometer floating over there in the corner is definitely going to read a couple degrees higher within a couple within a couple hours i call these dummy thermometers i mean they work don't get me wrong can't even zoom in on it there we go 84 that's what this thing says right now however i highly recommend that y'all get one of these really simple instant read thermometers. You can get these damn things for about 
10 or 12 bucks on Amazon. You come on over here, you dump it in the water, and you can really see what the temperature actually is. Here we go, 85.3. Now remember, the dummy stick over there said 84. We actually got 85.3. All right. This is live video, so that burner has been on the entire time I've been taking this video. I don't know that it's really going to have any effect yet, but it might. Oh, it does. There you go. I'm putting the tip of this thing right in the water flow. I've already got 93 point something degree. I mean, it's rising. Well, if I can keep it in there. Anyway, 93 degrees. Then you run it over here into the water. And you're 85.3. I'm just saying, it's an effective heater. That 93 degrees is whatever it is, 90 whatever. That's going to climb to well of, up to about 120 degrees. That's the best I've seen out of what I got with the flowing water. It's amazing. And it takes no time at all, a few hours, to get this thing to swimmable temperature. So there y'all have it. Take, you, take what you want from the video. Please send me some suggestions. Give me any questions you got. I do my best to answer them. Everybody's looking to figure out how to heat up their pool the best they can to get the best usage I can out of the seasons. Now listen, I know y'all down in Texas are pretty warm, so you guys are freezing ice blocks. Every gallon of milk you guys finish, you're filling up with water, throwing it in the deep freeze so you can put it in the pool. I get it, man. That's the way we did it back in the old days. That's a good idea. So if you're anywhere you need a little warmth, well, that's how I do it. Oh, y'all might be looking at this too. I just figure I'd talk about it. Listen, this thing needs to quit eating my damn thing. All right. Way overkill pump system. So I cut in my own uh, skimmer box to the level of water I wanted it. That extra B port, I wanted to make sure I had that just as additional water intake. I think the way this pool came originally was you had two, um, I don't remember if it was two B intake ports or if there were two B output ports. I'm sorry, I really don't remember. This was the A port. I When I bought this pool, I already knew what I wanted to do with it, so I wasn't even considering what they had. I just knew that I needed to have one of the original output ports which is that guy so that I could run the uh, uh, Intex automatic vacuum that looks like this this thing's really cool I run this anytime we're not even in the pool so usually it's ran through the week and if we get in the pool through the week we just unscrew it from the port inside and set it outside and just swim and then we put it back together when we're done Clean it out once a week that's important that big old hayward tower filter this is the i have two of the filters and um, i swap them out once a week and then rinse them out real well and then dry them put them back in the box until the next week chlorinator fills you can fill this thing up with anything you can do granules one inch tabs three inch tabs doesn't matter works really well hayward oops sorry hayward got a little dial you can dial in however much chlorine you want after you use your test strips and stuff like that this is a Hayward I don't know you guys look at the numbers <clears throat> you can see what I got I don't know I bought it on Facebook marketplace it works well for me here's the old pump Like I said, it works well for me. Way more pump than I need for this size pool. You don't need to tell me that. But 
every day I come out, it's crystal clear, never green, and it never has stuff inside of it. So it's doing what it needs to do. All right, y'all. From St. Louis, Missouri, have a great day. We'll see y'all later. Please comment. If you got any questions about my setup, happy to answer. Bye-bye.